Welcome to Spend Wise Moms. Today we're going to talk about growing a garden. Planting a garden each year has helped significantly in lowering my grocery bill. In fact, this year I may end up saving a third of my yearly grocery bill because of the food grown in our garden. It is enjoyable to be outside and to watch things grow from a tiny seed to a plant that provides food for your family. You can grow your own organic food without paying outrageous prices for it. Gardening is a productive activity. The excess produce can be frozen or canned to be used throughout the year. We planted raspberries and rhubarb several years ago. These plants come up every year and produce enough food to eat fresh during the season as well as to have plenty to freeze through the winter and to make jam that lasts through the year. There's no way that I could afford to buy the amount of organic raspberries we get from our garden on the budget that I have. I use the rhubarb to make crisps, cobblers, muffins, pies, and occasionally some jam. I also cut and freeze the rhubarb to last through the winter. We also have a cherry tree that we use to make cherry pie filling to freeze. We have a crab apple tree and we juice the crab apples to make jelly. Since I already have the jars, the only cost is the sugar and the lids. We also make crab apple applesauce as well. The applesauce is a pretty pink color. We have some fresh herbs in the summer and dry the extras to last throughout the winter. I shred and freeze zucchini that we cannot eat fresh to make zucchini bread in the future. I can also make zucchini pickles as well. We have fresh lettuce and tomatoes for salads in the summer and carrots and beets that will last through part of the winter. I make Greek spinach pies with the spinach we grow. I cook and freeze the rest of the spinach that we cannot eat fresh. The past few years we have planted vegetables in part of our flower beds instead of flowers. By doing this we increase the amount of produce we grow. Gardening is a great activity for the whole family that all can participate in. It also provides a large variety of produce to enjoy throughout the year. You can enjoy spending time together as you preserve the extra produce for the winter. Most of the money I spend on food seems to go towards paying for produce, so having a garden is so helpful for my budget. If you don't have a yard, don't worry. Check out a book about container gardening from your local library. You can use old milk jugs, water bottles, etc. to start your garden. You can grow produce on your back patio or on your front porch if necessary. I've also seen pictures of greenhouses that people have made from plastic bottles. I know people who have started seeds in old egg cartons. Some of our tomatoes this year are from a person who lived in an apartment and started the seeds in plastic two liter bottles. Because of rationing in World War II, many people in America and England grew gardens. By doing this, they were able to get plenty of produce to eat healthy and save money. Our local garden center said that more people are growing gardens this year because of the pandemic. What a benefit it would be to our health and our pocketbooks if more people grew gardens. How do you pay for seeds on a tight budget? You could save a little money each week and buy seeds or plants with it, but there are other options that are less expensive and even free. You could split the cost of seeds with a neighbor. Our local library hosts a seed and plant swap each year. You don't have to have any seeds or plants to participate. People are happy just to share with others, even if they don't have anything to contribute. There is a plant nursery in town that gave away free zucchini seeds this year. I believe they do that every year, but they may vary what they give from year to year. The oregano, sage, chives, raspberries, and rhubarb in our garden are all plants that were given to us. It is easy to have enough of these in your garden and have plenty to share. Once you start a garden, 
Save some of your bean, pea, and pumpkin seeds, for example, and dry them to use for the next year. Plants will go to seed, and that is the time to gather, dry, and save them. You can make your own compost instead of purchasing it. It is a much better way to use the produce waste than dumping it into a landfill. As for dirt, you shouldn't have much trouble finding someone happy to share with you. Maybe there is someone in your neighborhood who is a seasoned gardener and would be willing to answer questions and help you get started. You can learn a new skill, make a new friend, and save a lot of money on your grocery bill by planting a garden. For those people who live far away from a store, gardening is a good option. Too many times people do not attempt to start something unless they have all of the things they think are necessary to do it. Start with what you have and be resourceful and make it happen. A garden planted in plastic bottles or cartons works just fine and will produce great food for you to eat. It doesn't have to be a traditional garden in the ground. There is a difference in the quality and taste of the food that is grown in your garden. We tried growing strawberries last year, and they are so sweet compared to the ones in the store. One other benefit is that you know exactly where your food came from, and you don't have to worry about any pesticides sprayed on them, like the produce you purchase in the grocery store. You can also get produce fresh from the vine, that hasn't been picked too early and shipped to get to you. Gardening is a productive hobby that has great rewards, both for your health and for your pocketbook.